to bus lines. See yeah. what I did there? Yeah. Joining me on the line now is Councillor Sinead Burke, Sinn Féin Councillor on Meath County Council. Sinead, good morning to you. Good morning, Carl. How are you? Tell us the problems with Bus Aaron and public transport in Navan as they stand at the moment, Sinead, and why you've written to Bus Aaron. Well, basically, we have two bus routes currently operating in Navan. So there's the main national routes that go Cavan and Dr- Dublin to Cavan and Dublin and beyond and then there's an internal town bus service as well so if I break up the two services first they're both operated by Bus Erin and I've written um, with remarks and questions um, with regards to both of them on the national route my main problem is um, the difficulties wheelchair users are experiencing in, in using the national service predominantly just, just, just to Dublin us, Sinead, a wheelchair user needs to book a space on the bus is that correct? Yeah, yeah. There's a dedicated telephone line um, and you ring Bus Aaron 24 or 48 hours before you intend to travel. And you must say that I'm intending to travel to this particular place. I will be at this particular um, stop at this particular time. And in theory, Bus Aaron then makes sure that there is a wheelchair accessible bus on that route at that stop at that particular time. And that sounds like a very reasonable system. Absolutely, absolutely, it does. And when it works, it works. But the reality... But when it doesn't, it doesn't work. And uh, what happens is basically that there, you, we have had occasion, a, a lot of occasions, that um, wheelchair users have been at the dedicated stop. The bus will stop and then the bus driver will say, I'm not actually trained to you to, to handle a wheelchair. Or a pre another wheelchair user has actually got on the bus at a different stop and has used space dedicated for the wheelchair. Without the reservation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, I mean, we had a presentation in the chamber there, Jeepers, it was about 18 months ago, from Bus Aaron, and um, <clears throat> I raised this issue with them. And at that point, I was given an assurance by a representative of Bus Aaron that all drivers were trained and this would not be happening in the future. He questioned actually at the time whether I was actually, uh, what I was saying was true or not and then gave assurances that no way all our bus drivers are trained and this doesn't happen and it certainly will never happen in the future. If, if I can now, interrupt uh, you for just one second, sure. uh, Sinead, please, because Marie Cairns is back and we have a response from Bus Aaron, which I'm sure you'll be very interested in. Oh yeah, definitely. Yeah. Good morning, Sinead. We have indeed. Hi, yeah. um, I wrote... I I contacted them yesterday just following uh, our our conversation and just in relation to wheelchair accessibility they've said that we have an internal protocol with regard to wheelchair bookings and passengers wishing to make a booking are advised to contact the inquiry number on 1850 836611 now they're saying that all staff are fully trained in the use of onboard wheelchair equipment they didn't comment further on why there's problems happening with people who have booked their seat but hopefully this will you know keep them maybe talking to their staff to ensure it doesn't happen Bus Aaron on the local town service they say they're committed to providing a reliable and punctual service to our customers unfortunately due to technical issues with the Pacific vehicle type allocated to Navin Town Network the reliability of this service has at times suffered and then on the future plans, uh, you'll be interested in this, Sinead. They plan to introduce an enhanced Navintown service and say that that's at an advanced stage. And it's envisaged that the enhanced service will become operational during uh, the last quarter of this year. And it will inc- deliver enhanced routes in the area. So we'll keep, I suppose, watching this, watch this space and see if it materialises. Sinead, yeah. give, us, give us an idea of the problems within the Navintown service. Yeah, um, well, basically, um, first of all, there's, there's three bus routes within Navan Town Centre. One goes out to the Trim Road area, the other one goes up to the Black Castle area, and then the last one goes out to the Johnstown area. The first issue I would have is that it's re- unreliable. Um, that for the, for quite a, a couple of, number of weeks in the last month or so, there has been little or no bus service out to the Johnstown area. So that's number one. Um, number two is it only operates when it's operating, Monday to Friday. So and nothing, the nothing last- at the weekends when people will be in shopping. No, there's none. And then the last um, thing I would say is that we need it needs to run later as well because the last drop-off on the town centre is actually at ten past seven. 
So that's not accommodating late night shopping. That's not accommodating workers who are working outside of the nine to five hours. And as well as that, if you're on the outskirts of town, say if you want to bring three or four kids into the cinema, do you know, I mean, you're ruled out straight away from using the nav and bus service. Um, so I don't think it's adequate. We're a growing town. Another thing I will say as well, it's with regards to the future plans, we're hearing an awful lot about the new Navin 2030 plan, um, which is going to look at transport and accessibility around the town. And do you know what? It's going to be really good when it's done. But now is the optimum time to be talking to Bus Erin and making sure that while the roads and the pavements and accessibility for pedestrians and road users is going to be improved, accessibility for bus users should also be improved at the same time. Um, I came across an issue last well, Sinead, year. Sinead, I'm very sorry. sorry, but we have run out of time because as okay. you can imagine, the, wa- the water issue has taken up huge times <laughs> here this week. But we do All thank right, you no for problem. that and we wish you the best of luck. That's Councillor Sinead Clare, uh, Burke, Sinn Féin Councillor, Mead County Council and her concerns with Bus Erin. We're going to be back after this.